and welcome to YouTube video presentation of RV Max US. The reason we do this video is that there are a lot of pictures, a lot of dealers put pictures, but we do video kind of shows you uh, what's good, bad, and ugly. Uh, all these used motorhomes are going to have all of those. Some good, some bad, and some ugly. Uh, this one is a 2002 Alpha Sierra Model 36 FD. That's Fox Delta with only 24,900 miles. So it's under 25,000 miles. It's got a 7,500 watts quiet pack Generac diesel generator, about 670 hours. Runs good. We just put all new batteries. So you got a four new coach batteries and two cranking batteries. And we got a nice hardwood floors. Uh, full body paint, not a factory, but somebody did a good job. So in this video, we're gonna show you good, bad, and ugly. A uh, little scratches here. I don't know, something fell here. A uh, little road rock chip, a couple of scratches here. A uh, big scratch right here. Uh, you know, end of the video, you're gonna think I, I showed you a whole bunch of bad stuff, but I like to show you a whole bunch of bad stuff. Now we walk back, uh, we walk away 20 feet. Hey, this modem is nice, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna show you from two feet. So 20 feet is a nice motorhome. If those guys that don't know what alpha chicken pox are, or chicken pox means it's got a skin problem. You see this right here? It's popping through the paint and it may continue doing it. Uh, it's got a little skin cancer. That is from a factory when they made the fiberglass, they had some composition, they had some chemical reaction. It's called electro electrolysis, uh, delamination, whatever you call it. So it's got a few of those. Uh, lots of here on the slide out area, as you can see. Looked like somebody took a BB gun and shot at it. So that'll come free of charge. Uh, no charge for that. Tires are Michelin. I think they are 2010, but take a look at it. No sidewall damage. Now, if you want to negotiate price, I'm, I'm putting in a very aggressive price. At that price, you're not going to get new tires. If you want something else like Toyo or uh, uh, Iron Man, those tires are like 250 bucks a piece. You want a Michelin, you'll be talking about $400 a piece. Uh, let's see what's the size of 275, 80, 22 and a half. Uh, but the tires are good, lots of trade, 25,000 miles. Uh, some more underbelly storage. No, this is one of the brand new four six volt batteries that we just put them on uh, a couple of weeks ago. All right, a little bit of body boo boo right here. Here's your LP tank. Inverters up there. That's a slide out trail on the other side. It will not come out this way. But lots of underbelly storage. And while we're down under here, look at this. Slide out in really good shape. No, no uh, water damage or sogging down, you know. A good slide out underneath. A little bit of more chicken pox here. All right, all the way out here. Woo! This is your wash bay. That's where you hook up your sewer discharge and uh, outside shower and all that stuff is located right here. Got a nice little handle. Uh, outside water, you can put water from here too. Potable water. Look at this, uh, it's a nice paint job, I tell you. It's got a little bit of DLAM over here. A little flaws right here, I don't know what that is. But once again, look at the tires. I think, take a look at all my pictures. I think they're 2010 date code. But tires not showing any checking or dry rotted sun damage. But you can probably get away with just buying two new in the front or leave it like it is. It's up to your comfort level. 10 gallon hot water heater. We got the engine running so you kind of hear the engine. Those are the brand new two cranking batteries. So we got all new, new batteries. By the way, this was a recent trade-in motorhome. We do not deal in any repossessed motorhome. Uh, very simple math. You buy repos, they're troubles. All right, the slide out topper back there, it's little mechanism is a little bit off. You can buy a whole brand new uh, slide out topper mechanism for 500 bucks or we're trying to fix it. Uh, it may cost two, 300 bucks to fix it. Need a new slide out topper, stuff like that. Got a bedroom awning. I think it needs a little pull strap, but it does have awning. We've got lots of mud on right now, so we're probably gonna sell it like it is. But we'll make sure your water system works, your air conditioner works, generator works, good batteries, some little TLC, you can put that. Tender loving care. This is, uh, take a look at this. Rear radiator, very, very clean. It rides on a custom 
a chassis which is made by Freightliner. It's a Freightliner custom air ride chassis with a 330s. It's a Cat C7. It's a 7 liter, 7.2 liter exactly, uh, displacement. So it's 330 horsepower. We've got a Reese Type 3 hitch. Should be five or 10,000, maybe just a 5,000 towing capacity unless you beef it up. All right, before we go up on top, let me show you the passenger side wall. Passenger side has a little bit of a less delamination or those uh, what you might call a chicken pox. Now paint flaws right here. You can see the little bit of paint flaws. They painted it on top. Uh, we got a basement air conditioning unit, like a bus type. Uh, slide out again in a really good shape. Take a look at underneath too. So we got two slide out on this coach. I know it's kind of getting a dark, but you can still see it. Oh, that's your uh, engine, ECM, and all that stuff. So right here, again, tires are good. I'm not showing any weather checking. Look at this wall; it's pretty straight. I like the color; it's like a gold champagne. Got a turquoise green and burgundy red. Um, we got an electric patio awning made by made of acrylic. It's not a vinyl that retains the smell. It's an electric, goes up and down. We got an entrance awning there. And you're gonna love this. Huge underbelly storage. Wow, that TV's trying to come on and off. Okay, that is the old boob TV. You can throw it out and put a new one. Let me show you how this thing works. It also has a outside Norcold refrigerator. Uh, we got some tables here. Lots of underbelly storage. Check it, check it out. And you could probably get rid of this TV and get a nice uh, little suction cup TV that you could put on the wall and have more storage. I'm going to turn that light off while I'm at it. That's how the batteries go dead. That's off. There's another light on here. So you kind of get the, uh, get the uh, picture. It'll come out. It's kind of colliding here a little bit, but it'll come out. Uh, we've got lots of bin drawers. They'll come out all the way out here. So you can also turn, get your one-step awning in and out from here. It also has a button inside for electric awning. So we've got a little bit of a chicken pox coming up here. Just very little. Some scratches. Outside. See, this is where you can put two suction cups and hang a big 15-inch TV if you'd like to. All right, we got a little bit of a body issue right there. Look at this storage. It's huge. I mean, it is a lots of storage. This is a 36 FD, but length is about 38 feet. So we got a little bit of more of those chicken pox. Got a few here, but overall, let's walk back. It's, it's a really nice uh, motorhome on this side. I know we don't have a lot of daylight, but you can still see it. So we're back in the front, so it does have an entrance awning and electric patio awning. Let's get up on top before daylight is gone. Top of the back side of the coach, they come with a satellite dish on the back. You see all we, RV Tech has completely sealed all the back cap, the ladder where they come in, the side where they had a little, uh, the caulking was, uh, you know, cracking up. A roof could be washed, but it's in good shape. It's a rubber roof. We got a max air in a bathroom area, hallway. Oh, look at this. The bedroom slide out topper is in really good shape. The problem we have is the uh, living room. Okay, we did the bathroom skylight. It's been cocked all, all, all the way around. Uh, you, could see, uh, you could see over here too, all the toilet vent or black water tank. Uh, I mean, it, it, everything is sealed up on top. When my guy got up on top, he's gonna find any cracks there are by the way, it's got a big solar panel. Check it out, the blue, it looks like a Bluetooth, but a blue light's coming up. So it's got a big solar light right here. Um, I guess it'll keep your batteries. So we've got another Max Air in the kitchen area. Uh, whole front cap been sealed. You can take a look at it. The whole front cap has been sealed. No water leaks. If it did have any pass, we don't know, but this is a maintenance that people have to do. It's called preventive maintenance. Nice uh, acrylic, patio awning you see so this is the awning that may need to be changed or what do you call it? not awning but a slide out topper it's got a little bit of tear 
it was about 150 bucks for the material. And if the spring we can save it, we'll probably spend a couple of hundred bucks or we'll, or you could do it later. I mean, it works. It goes in and out. It just uh, needs a little work. All right, so uh, roof, no worries on roof, solid rubber roof, uh, recently been sealed. Let's get back down and I'll show you inside. You're going to love the inside of this motorhome. Come in this motorhome. It's got a power step. You're going to love the inside. We spent about $3,000 in a floor. So it has a waterproof laminate floor. It's about a $2.99 a square foot. It's just like click clack. They're just clicking each other and it's a engineered wood, but it's a waterproof. And that's why it's expensive. We'll put also a new, car uh, new carpet in the living room slide as you see over there. All right, uh, look at the, look at the uh, passenger seat. Good shape, maybe a couple of little stain, but overall nice leather, no excessive wear, no tears. Same thing here, driver's seat looks really good. All right, let's sit in here and check this thing out. We got 24,901 miles. We got an old school radio here, it's beeping here. Want a Tenson? All right, we got a, a leveling jacks are located right here. Six speed Allison. We got a uh, retarder, we got a power shades, we have electric mirror, all the map lights and all that stuff's here, fog light, fan, auxiliary start generator, preheat generator start, all that stuff's located right here. Uh, so 24,901 miles, about 670 hours, backup monitor. Um, so the floor goes all the way around the fuel pedal and brake pedal, got a smart steering wheel. Uh, it's telescopic and tilt wheel. Okay, let's see what else we can cover here. It's got a brake controller if you want to be towing a car or boat or trailer or whatever. By the way, this motorhome is pretty much one owner from Florida who owned it from 2002 to I think 2015. I've got a Carfax, pay attention to that. Second owner from South Carolina bought it and traded it in North Carolina. Got an old boob tube. Got some DVD players and stuff over here. Uh, direct dish receiver, it may work with it. We may have to have a new account. All those remote controls are here. We got nice fans, keeps you cool. Uh, dash is in good shape. It does have a step cover back in the back. We'll show you back in the bedroom. Uh, they did some kind of improvement. They did some kind of new wall wall construction or they put new uh, just a wall board I don't know uh, we've got lots of under uh, under uh, I mean inside storage like underbelly storage oh my god all this stuff either they go with it or we're gonna take it off it's pillows and stuff seconds tier on top oh by the way books and right here. that is here. so we got all the books and records are located here alpha leaser Gives you more, it does. It gives you a lot of storage. So we got some owner's manuals here. And whatever in the coach will go with you, or if it's junk, we'll get it out. Wow. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. It goes with the coach. So we got two tier of storage. Look at the roof, it's in good condition. No no stains or anything uh, strange looking up on top. Oh, we got a 10 CD changer here. How about that? That Kenwood uh, old school DVD player or CD player with a cassette player probably plugs into this. That's old school. Look at this deep slide. This is a 48 inch slide. This is probably the deepest slide in the industry you could see. This one slide is probably uh, bigger than some of the two slide outs in the motorhomes I've seen. This is a magic bed. So it'll open up and becomes a bed. Um, so furniture, the previous owner have done some funky stuff with the furniture. This looked like a, it was a booth dinette. They got rid of it. It's just sitting here loose. It could be driven with a screw. I mean, you could drive a screw down and permanent fix it, but it's, uh, this thing is all loose. So if you're going to be traveling, you probably need to put this table down, okay? Uh, I guess you see the picture. Got a recliner here. Got a Corian top. Corian tap countertops. I don't know 
know what that is. Looks like some kind of a window blinds. It's got blinds here. Three burner gas stove. All right, the surface light comes on. Got a traditional oven. That is hard to find in a diesel pusher. Some drawers, some storage under there. Oh, it's got some drawers in here, deep storage. A little cutting board also, it will, I think it will cover, maybe not, I thought it will cover this. So we've got two deep drawers here, another drawer under the oven, four-door refrigerator that works on electric or LP, ice maker. Some more storage up on top. Oh, got more storage here. Some more storage here. Now, this is another one, a little funky. Do you see how you see this? There are two extra chairs, okay? Like this, this type of chairs that can come out. And this leaf is open, but you could close it. And it's got another leaf on the back. So if you get the picture of what I'm trying to say, you can probably pull this thing out and about this two and a half, two feet of a leaf would open up and so you can have table come out all the way here and you got two extra chairs. It is also loose, but I mean, like loose means it's not bolted down. That's how the furniture came with the motorhome. So the previous owner did some stuff. You gotta have a extension cord to have this light come on and a fan. Uh, we got some lights up here, LED lights. So what, what, what we did, we left the ceramic tiles alone. They're, they're in really good shape. I don't see any uh, cracked up or broken tile here. So we just put a hardwood floor where the carpet was. We ripped the carpet out and we'll put the uh, hardwood floors in really nice matching hardwood. So you come in the center part of the coach. We have a privacy door here. A separate living room, two bedroom. Oh, this is the same closet you can also access from side. Uh, basement air conditioned thermostat is located right here. Slide out room is here. The, that's a bedroom slide. So tile continues into the toilet area. We have a washer dryer combo here. And big deep closet here. That is accessible from bedroom as well as here. The tiles are in really, really good shape. I'm, I'm surprised that someone took care of this. No cracked up tile or broken tile. Maybe one little hair crack I see. So, the, you know, the video purpose is again to find some flaws if I can. Uh, we got a big skylight you saw up on top. It's been cocked up and no, no water leaks or anything like that. It's a nice big stand-up shower. This coach, by the way, it's seven and a half feet tall. You, you just don't see motorhomes this tall. I love it. All right, we got three doors that opens up. That is your step cover that I was referring to earlier. Got a big, long coat closet. We've got some drawers under there. Oh, I forgot there's a sink area here. It's got to be light in here. Oh, there we go. May need a couple of bulbs there tube lights. Got a medicine cabinet. Back here we got another privacy sliding door for a bedroom. Come in the bedroom we have a hardwood floors again. We ripped the carpet out here as well and there's a laminated uh, wall goes on both sides. So they've done some uh, you know uh, renovation already. Uh, this string, what do you call the window shade? Sometimes they're notorious. You got to tie that string up back in here. So we'll come on this side. I think same problem here. The strings are messed up. Some doors above on top. Wow, we got some access door up here. A 
a motorhome, you gotta kind of lift it and pull out. This one is stuck. There we go. It's not been open in a while. Let's see what's under the bed. Should be an access to an engine. Yes, it is. So let me show you the engine. There's your Caterpillar engine. Purrs like a kitten. Literally, it's a cat. Runs really good. It's a queen size bed here. Got a boat size, boat side little nightstand with the drawers. I've seen what people do. You can get rid of this mattress, buy you a nice memory foam mattress for a couple hundred bucks on Amazon, or you, you can also remove one of the nightstand and go wider and go a king size bed, but you will compensate a little bit of space here. So you can do a lot of modification if you'd like to. So this will conclude our video presentation on this 2002 Alpha Leaser Model C uh, 36FD. Uh, in good condition, it was a trading motorhome. It's not perfect, as you saw the video, got some a skin problem, but it's a full body paint and a very, very reasonable price. So I don't think it's gonna last that long. Usually when we put a video up along with our pictures, motorhomes are gone. So it may be a little late. If you, if you look at the date on my video, if it's six months or older, uh, this motorhome is gone. It, it, this motorhome may be gone the next month or two with all this Texas and Florida kind of bad hurricane. We've we seen a surge in the phone calls. People wanna buy a motorhome, put it in their house and rebuild the house and stuff like that. Uh, we take trades, so if you got a fifth wheel or stuff, I, I, I do way back a wholesale because we don't sell fifth wheels and uh, trailers, but I will consider a trade. Uh, any kind of late model cars, yes. A motorhomes, gas job, yes, we take trade. We help you to get finance if you don't have your own financing. Uh, usually 700 and plus beacon score is much better. Uh, but if it's 650 and above, we can still try to get you finance. Uh, uh, let's see, what else I can add here? Um, I like a communication, my preferred communication is text. So if you don't mind texting me at 864-404-0054, that's 864-404-0054, or my backup, my son's phone number is 864-376-5600, that is 864-376-5600. I have a South Carolina Lynn Free Clear title in my hand, ready to earn your business. So. Uh, Thanks for watching this long video and I look forward to learning your business. Thank you.